Now it's time to party on the patio, brought to you by Outdoor Living at Morris Home Furnishings. We're starting things off a bit early. It is Friday. Why not grill? A little chilly, but we're still grilling this morning. We want to introduce you to Kurt Campbell. He is from a new shop at the Green. It's basically an oil bar slash shop, and it's called Oilery. Good morning. Good morning, Megan. How are you today? I'm doing great. We're making something fun called cauliflower steaks, a manly sized portion of, of cauliflower that you really dress up with all your great olive oil. Yeah, this is all veggies all day here today. <laughs> uh, that's the thing about the oilery. It's like a little magic shop for cooks. You go in and there are these stainless steel tanks full of olive oil, fresh olive oil and balsamic vinegars. We don't pre-bottle anything, so you taste it and then we bottle it for you. And I'm going to use one of our lemon extra virgin olive oils this morning to do uh, vegetables on the grill. We're going to do a cauliflower steak and we want a nice head of cauliflower. All right. Now when you trim the leaves, you just have to be careful. Don't go too deep because when we start cutting this for steaks, we're praying that we get, <laughs> we get in the middle of this. Oh yeah, one big solid piece to throw on the grill. Y yes, exactly. I like that. And if, if I can do this, or, oh, look at that. The gods are with me this morning, man. I love it. And you obviously have one version of your olive oil. Talk about all the different flavors you guys oh, have. Oh, we have lemon, orange, uh, hot chili, truffle, porcini, rosemary, oregano. So <laughs> My mind is blown right now. That's a lot of it, choices. Well, it is. We have about 30 tanks of olive oil and, uh, and balsamics in a store. So I've oiled this up. I've seasoned it. We're just going to throw it on a preheated uh, grill. And I'm going to put some more oil on top of that. All right. We're playing with the olive oils. It's, it's really giving you permission to play with your food. You know, your mother always told you don't play with your food at all. <laughs> and hey, what does she know we found out? So, uh, oh, you know what I'm using here is Kurt's cooking spice. Oh. This, I, in a previous lifetime, after I was a professional portrait photographer, I became Kurt the spice guy. I needed a job, so I started selling my own mix of seasonings. That's what really got it started. When we opened our first little retail shop, my wife and I up north of Green Bay, eight products. Yeah, and let's talk about this. You guys opened this store up in Wisconsin, small town, and now yep. it's part of a larger franchise. You guys have nine locations. We've got nine locations, seven of them are franchises, and Cindy Hoffman here in, in Dayton um, uh, bought a franchise. She just opened last month. She's brand new. She's on Glengarry Street or Avenue uh, right next to Tivana. This is at the green we're talking about. This is at the green. Stop in. It's like I say, it's a magic shop for those that either cook or you have to eat. Whether you eat or cook, all of our products are, are, are good for you. Now, we're just going to brown that. And, and while you do that, pull that off the grill, we are running out of time, so I want to make sure to get to this. Because with the cauliflower, you can kind of use that as a, a meat list option, but still a hearty sandwich with Absolutely. a full spread. This is an olive salad that's made for the oilery in New Orleans. If we take our, our cauliflower steak, all right. we're putting that just <laughs> Put it all on a bun. This is olives, carrots, more cauliflower. We're going to make really a vegetarian uh, muffaletta sandwich That here. looks awesome. And it while you do awesome. that, I'm going to tell the viewers at home that the Oilery is on Glengarry Drive in the green. For more information, we have it on our website, abc22now.com. Kurt, hopefully folks go visit your store because it looks great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Megan.